Hey guys, so before I begin this video, I wanted to tell you guys about these. These are VV acne pads. So you guys always say I have like a clear skin. I really don't, but these really do help me protect me from acne. Okay, but let me show you. So when you pull it out of the packet, you get this. There's different sizes, so um, you can use it on different spots on your face and whatever you need, like a, have like a bigger patch to cover. Okay, so, but it's really simple. All you have to do, make sure your face is clean. So I clean my face, nothing on my face right now. Woke up, put a hot towel, make sure it's cleansed through. And these are super, super, super simple to peel off. See, it already has like a um, peel down the middle. And then it's gonna put it on there. And it usually, um, when I use this, I can just put makeup over it so it blends even better. But they already blend in really, really well. But yeah, I usually try to put more on my chin, but... Whew. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I do. Like, where do you guys have the most breakouts on your skin? I also, I get a lot of breakouts here as well. And mostly because I'm out the whole day and I can't clean my um, skin often. So this really does help protect me from every, all the dirt and stuff that might get into my skin. Because when um, I wash my face and um, I don't have anything protecting my skin, usually um, like what causes the acne is because the pores get clogged up. But this will help pr pr um, protect from that. I also get some on my nose. I used to get a lot on my forehead, but um, that was mainly mostly from that's mostly in high school. Now it's mostly like here, here, and my chin. So I like to protect it more on the side and also around my ears. I don't know. You see, I have so much on my skin right now. You can't really like tell too hard. If I put makeup over it, you won't be able to tell that there's skin skin blotches over there. That's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> so yeah, right here. So yeah. That is really cool. If you guys are interested in this, please check out the link in the description down below. But I find these really helpful. Maybe you will too. But thank you so much for watching this, guys. Let's continue on with the video. Hey guys, so I just came back from Taiwan. I'm super excited because even though I just came back, I'm already doing another food challenge. We are at Pickup Sticks today because they have a brand, two brand new menu items. So we've got the Thai chicken cashew and we've got the gochujang beef, uh, Korean beef. So we're going to try that out today and we're going to do a food challenge with that. We've got three pounds of noodles and one pound of beef one pound of cashew chicken we're gonna eat it outside the out of the walk it's gonna be i cannot to try this out it smells amazing in here let's go see how it's made with their beef and chicken. It smells absolutely amazing. This is five pounds of food I'm gonna take down today. Let me put my hair up and we will get started. This is my first meal. First meal coming back to America. Ooh, all right. All right, ready, set. Let's start with the noodles. So the Korean gochujang beef comes with some cauliflower. Let's try that. Mm. I really like how the uh, cauliflower still remains the texture. Let's try their beef. I really 
like these cauliflowers. This is their Thai basil chicken. Oh. I like the chicken. You know the beef in Taiwan tastes a lot different. The beef and chicken both. So this is the meat kind of protein like I'm used to. I like it. And these noodles, really good. They're like sweet and a little spicy. Like you saw the way they made it, they just piled on the flavor on it. But ooh, absolutely incredible challenge! Five pounds of food right here. Oh, that was a good. That was a good wake up meal. Like this is my breakfast because I just kind of like woke up like not too long ago. But um, that is it. Oh yeah, we gotta end with the fortune cookie. They have fortune cookies here. Let's see. Now is a lucky time for you to take a chance. I kind of take a chance every day, so. <laughs> hey. Mm. You guys want to know a funny story? I made fortune cookies for my uh, 16th birthday party. Like, I had seatings for people. And, you know, I invited my friends. And the message inside, it was a message I wrote to my friend. So everybody had a personalized fortune cookie message from me. 
I hate making fortune cookies. It was it was it was so tedious to make these things. Thank you so much for watching this. This was a great first meal back in America. Now I know what I missed out on. American food is very heavy. Even though this is Chinese food, this is not Chinese food. Oh, it is so heavy. <coughs> but yeah. Whew. Still very yummy and I'm great I got to do it. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, make sure to come check out Pick Up Sticks. Let them know I sent you. But other than this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming. And on my Instagram page, I do a lot of giveaways. And on my Twitter page, I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.